Hello, my name is Dr. Jonathan Stockman and I'm a veterinary nutritionist. And today I will be speaking about nutritional management of gastrointestinal disease, pancreatic disease, and hepatic disease. So the gastrointestinal tract is the organ system that is most affected by nutrition. And the reason for that is that the enterocytes rely on food passing through the GI lumen for their sustenance, and they don't receive a lot of nutrition otherwise from the blood supply. Several nutrients are especially important and have different roles and functions. For example, protein is a source of both essential and non-essential amino acids. And the non-essential amino acids can provide nitrogen as well as be oxidized for energy. Those amino acids are also important for the GI microbiome because the microbiota also relies on these amino acids for their health. The proteins are also a key source for certain hormone stimulation, and they can also be antigenic and stimulate an immune response and inflammation. Several amino acids have specific roles. For example, glutamine is a non-essential amino acid that is an important fuel source for both the enterocytes and the lymphocytes in the intestines. And arginine is important because it is metabolized to nitric oxide, which has various functions, including affecting the blood supply to the intestines. Fat is absorbed through the lymphatic system, and it also stimulates various gut hormones. It can also slow down gut motility. So if you have a patient that you're worried about um, the gut motility not being fast enough, it is a good idea to avoid a very high fat diet. Certain fatty acids have specific roles. For example, butyrate is a fatty acid that is an, an important fuel source for the colonocytes and is also important for modulating inflammation. Fiber in the diet can also have various roles. For example, soluble fiber can be a substrate for fermentation of microbiota, and insoluble fiber can increase the volume of the stool and promote gut motility. When we have a patient that is presenting with gastrointestinal disease, we may see several typical clinical signs. The patient may be lethargic. There may be either a loss of appetite or decrease in appetite, or in some cases, there may be ravenous appetite if the, the chronic disease is affecting absorption of nutrients from the GI tract. We may see weight loss, abnormal pain and discomfort.